We need to find the value of m such that this equation holds true. The best way to look at it is to see that we can't cancel anything initially, but we have a conjugate here, and if we choose n properly, we can get a conjugate here, thus canceling this and making this equation true. To get a conjugate here, we're going to need an x plus 3 and an x minus 3, so we're going to need at least one of these. If we have 2, then we'll have an extra one to cancel this. So let's try m equals 2, and then we'll have x plus 3 times x plus 3, and then this again. This conjugate can be written as x plus 3 times x minus 3. Because if you multiply that out, then the cross term cancels, and you just get x squared minus 9. So this cancels with these two quantities. That just gives us a remaining x plus 3 equals x plus 3. And since that's true, we've proved it. So our guess of m equals 2 was correct.